So let's discuss how to do cropping. So cropping is something that's very useful in cases where the sample doesn't fill the full field of view or in cases where you need to do tiling. Um, so let's say I have um, this particular sample, which does not extend beyond this in any point in the z-dimension. So this is essentially the widest z-plane for this embryo. Uh, and I'm happy with the settings in terms of resolution. Uh, I don't want to zoom in more because then some of the sample ends up in parts that don't have as high quality or that maybe uh, are outside the field of view. I really just want to image this. But... Uh, there's a lot of the sample that's really not going to be any be any of any benefit to me to acquire. So can I crop it? And by cropping it, can I reduce my sample um, size, uh, so the, the size of the data set, as well as speed things up uh, from that point on in terms of moving data, storing the data, and analyzing it? And the answer is yes. So how do we crop? So the way we crop is first we need to see a region of interest, then uh, adjust it to the desired size, and then hit the cropping button. So to see a region of interest in the image, we click here. If you don't see anything, just click again. We'll resize this so that it is at the proper dimensions. It's always a good idea to leave a little bit of breathing room just in case the sample is just a little bit bigger. And we always want this to be centered. So to make sure that a, a region of interest is centered, so that you know that the center of your image is actually the center of the sort of imaging uh, kind of plane, is by aligning these four squares to this cross here, which again, you, you engage there. So that seems pretty much well centered. Let me <clears throat> extend this a little bit here. Okay, so that, that seems like a reasonable cropping for this image. So to crop it, what I'm going to do now is click here. I'm not on live, but when I go to live, okay, there we go. So now the image that it's showing me is only in the cropped region. And it has this confusing sort of part of the ROI. You can ignore that. Just click on it to turn it off. Uh, but so now the image is just this. So then when we acquire, um, the data sets will be smaller. Okay, now let's say that you look at this and you, you, you don't, um, you're not happy with how you cropped it. You wanna go back. And so the way you do it uh, to go back is unfortunately it's not a button near this. It's a button in a completely different place over here where if you click full view and then you click video again, you get the uncropped version. So again, to crop, you draw a region of interest and you click this button To uncrop, you click on full view. And you need to stop and start the imaging when you want to do that. OK, so that concludes what I wanted to t uh, tell you about uh, for cropping. And it's, a, it's really a very useful uh, tool if, if your uh, sample doesn't feel, fill the whole field of view or if you need to do tiling, which is what we'll talk about next.